Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. This is Seal Surge Remily in Albuquerque. This is number five of this series. And in this series, I'm going to show you how to finish a composite that we worked on yesterday and how to add A's to make it more realistic. Let me show you. All right, so we are back with this little composite that I'm trying to do. If you didn't watch yesterday's episode, please watch it to come to this point. And uh, so what we did is we basically, you know, took uh, the sunset, the balloons were not up yet, but I, I loved how, how, how the uh, the sunset, sorry, the sunrise was when, when it just started, but the balloons were not close to the river. By the time they came down to the river, uh, the, the this whole nice light was gone, so we added this. But it doesn't feel right. Now, if we look at the reference photo, uh, which is this one, you, or this one, for example, or no, more this one, yeah, this one, you can see here that all the balloons in the back, uh, a lot of them on the left are very dark, and on the right, they are more bright. This one is just, you know, has a bit of bright here and black there. And uh, so we're going to try to fix that first. So first of all, what I'm going to do is, on this one, I'm going to create a level adjustment layer, okay? Now, by default, the adjustment layer is going to be applied on everything. Now, if I click the option key, if I click the option key and I go between the two layers and I click one time, now this uh, layer will only affect the balloons. So check this out. If I make this brighter or lower, it only affects these balloons. So first of all, I want to make it darker. And then, because there is a mask, I can click on the mask, take a brush, and uh, so I have a brush. I'm going to make sure that my opacity is like of the brush is around like yeah 30%. And I'm just going to paint here with black. Black conceals. So black is going to stop this level from happening just where I brush. So basically, it's going to bring back some of the light. Uh, and I'm going to, so on this one, I'm going to make it completely. So I give them like a different shine. A different shine. I'm just faking this. And you know what? I'm going to make actually my uh, my balloons even darker so that the effect and maybe boost my brush a little bit more. I really want to create an effect that does, that light is coming from up here behind the mountains that this one is led. And if it's too much, you can press X. And so now with X, I can make this one darker, you know, just an X again, brighter, X darker, X brighter. And, uh, and voila, I'm just trying to uh, sort of, of mimic the shading that we had, which is already better. One other thing that can help, I think the balloons are a little too big, so I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to uh, Free Transform, and I'm just going to press Shift and Option so that I can make this smaller on its own axis and put this up in the air. Voila. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Uh, did I lose the balloon or something in the process? No. All uh, right. And on this one, I think... Oh. I made a mistake because now all I did here doesn't match anymore, so I have to redo it. Okay, that can happen, so I'm going to press Command A and delete. So I have to redo what I did with the brush because I should have first make them smaller and then do the mask. My mistake, that's all right. Let's go back, just add a little bit of volume to this. Well, I maybe make this one a bit dark. So the idea is higher as they go up, they get a little bit of light from up here. Something like this. Uh, maybe this one is in the light. Yeah. So, because the light was coming, let's say that the light is coming from over there. Uh, that's very important to sort of match the light. Check out the difference before the levels, after the level. It just feels more there, more like a morning feeling. But that's not all. I want. I think I want to get this one more into the fog. So I'm gonna remember. I have this brush. Black is the color that I have. Maybe not 100%, but I think I'm gonna. No, okay, it's a little too much. Command Z, Command LZ twice. That was too much. I need to lower the opacity. I still see want to see some of the balloon. All right, voila. Maybe here, just a little bit. Okay, and I don't know. I just I love the fog, and I said you know while we are cheating and doing composite, why don't we add more fog, a lot more fog? So I'm going to create an empty layer, and I'm going to create fog. For this, I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to Render, Clouds, OK, and then I'm going to press Z for the loop, 
option to go and I'm going to go like this really far, make it very small and I'm going to go to edit, free transform, right click perspective and hold on a shift key and I'm going to drag this out. That's going to make like a perspective of the fog. Okay. And press command T, maybe make this a little smaller. Voila. All right. So now it's 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 become like a huge file. So you need a bit of memory to be able to do that. Okay, and I'm going to put this on its own layer. Uh, so I'm going to put this into screen mode. And as soon as I put this in screen mode, it looks like fog a bit more. I like that. But, you know, it's a little strong. So first let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And uh, yeah, like maybe you still want to get some of the structure, like 61 is good, is good. And now, um, so it takes a lot of time. So one little trick, if you want to go faster, if you don't want to use up too much memory, because now that layer is really big. This is already like a 7,000 pixel photo. So it's taking up a lot of memory. What you can do is you can go to the crop tool, uh, C for crop tool and click delete, uh, deleted crop pixel press OK and just press enter and that's going to delete uh, all these clouds that we don't need all around OK press enter voila and now it's you're taking a lot less memory OK so once that's down I'm going to press the option key it's a little more advanced and click on the mask and I can take a little brush Make that brush a little bit bigger. Make sure the opacity is really slow so it's black because I hold on the Option key when I created a mask. Press X, white reveals. And I'm just going to paint with a little bit of, you know, haze here, maybe there, a lot in here in the front. I like the idea of adding a lot of haze. I think it can be cool. If you think it's too much, you just press X. And then you can take some of it out here or some of it out there. You know, you're kind of free to do. Now, it's very white. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to use an adjustment layer. I'm going to go here, selective color, hold on the option key, click between the two layers so that whatever I'm doing here is only going to affect the fog. And I'm just going to add a bit of yellow and a bit of magenta on my fog. Check it out. Before the adjustment layer, after. Just added a bit of color on the fog. And voila, I think that's pretty much it. That's kind of the effect I was going for. Uh, let me see here, the opacity of this. Yeah, it's, you see here, I can see the mountains a little bit through this, that's not good. So I'm gonna put it from 91 to 100, make it more visible. And the fog just helps the whole thing, you know, match together. And I think these ones are a little too visible. So uh, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna put it like a 96. And I think I'm going to blur this ones just a little bit. I'm just going to blur them to make them like more in the background. Blur, Gaussian blur, and not so much, just like maybe one pixel or two pixel. So that there is like a bit of depth. Uh, it looks like they are far away, so they are less sharp. Okay, and that should be good. And voila, so that's a complete composite where we kind of like completely cheated. But you know, I was there and the balloon was there. And it's, it's, a, it's a great practice to use Photoshop. Okay, mesdames and messieurs. So that was uh, tomorrow. I'm going to show you how we take all the photos that we've retouched from Albuquerque and how we get them on social media everywhere. So stay tight for tomorrow. In the meantime, don't forget that if you go to photosearch.com, the five-day deal is here again. And it's amazing. If you buy it through us, you'll get all my signature preset and all my bundles. That is an additional $700 of free tutorials on the top of the $2,500. The whole thing for $117. Plus 10% goes to charity. You got so many courses from so many great instructors. Uh, some people have been asking, is it, oh, I bought the one from last year, is it the same? No, not one course is the same. Everything is completely new all the presets, all the courses. Uh, you got a great course from Jimmy MacArthur that I really like. You have Trey Rackley's full HDR tutorials. You got a um, complete guide to dodge and burning. After the camera, you got some course from Joel Grime, which I love. Uh, you've got uh, my full Photoshop workflow, my full Photoshop for photograph for eight hours, of course. Uh, you got the Force of Nature by Jessica Drossin. 
I mean, so much, so much. It's just like it would take me really hours to explain everything that's there. Just go over to photosearch.com. If there's only one tutorial you're going to buy this year, I really advise this one. It's going to be so much content for the, you know, I'm sure you're going to be blown away. So check it out, the five-day deal.